but the, the water consumption is a, a good indicator, and it's often used by municipalities as an indicator of, of the sewage consumption. Mm -hmm. in, a lot of times so you'll have, have a, a meter, a, a, a total meter, and then an irrigation meter. They subtract the irrigation off of the off of to come up with yeah, yeah. the wastewater. I, when we were in Spokane, they, they, they based our soil rate on our water usage. Yeah. Yeah. That's very, very common. And the other thing was, uh, as it regards the, the re reporting of on a daily basis, the, the ER is based on 250 gallons per day. That's why I, that's why I divided it the way I did to, and looked at daily flow as opposed to peak flow. There is there is a variation, uh, yeah, yeah. but I don't know that the the, the diurnal <clears throat> flow curve, the peaking factor on a marina, would be the same as it would be say uh, on a household yeah. uh, where there's usually two peaks during the day. I think a marina is going to behave differently than that. Well, and, and and a lot of these people with households say, "I'm only out there two weeks out of year." So and, and you and you still charge me a base fee every month. And 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 that's the the speak of what you had just said. It's the hookup, the fee. I mean, it's really the hookup. And and we know when the systems were put in, or or when it became a district, and and it was determined that everybody was being charged whether they're here or not because. The, just the transmission lines and, and yet having it yet available it doesn't up. mean doesn't mean we can't as a board determine something that's more equitable because we want equitable for yeah, all yeah, our customers and for everybody um, which <clears throat> if we were see I, now I have Colleen in, in my in my ear kind of thinking <laughs> about if you mess with the ordinance so you're gonna cause a problem with five pages and ten pages of Without going there, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it would solve some of our issues a little bit if we did bend on some of these things because it would it would be the board stating we have a little less usage. We understand that. It, it's that whole how many ERs have we sold? How many do we think are actually being used because of this whole catching where our system is, how many hookups we have and all that, which we're still questioning. I mean, I'm, I don't want to say anything to get us in trouble here. Do you understand what I'm speaking about? The, or that would put the district in a situation of babysitting each and every right, individual right, account. Right, I mean, we, we want to be good stewards for the people that are here, businesses and stuff. I don't, I, I'm kind of wondering how we worm through that if we can or have we already locked ourselves in to this is as per in accordance with this is what we do sorry I mean I, I don't want to be that way. and if you guys did want to relook at things you would uh, need to take it to your engineer for work so that would cost <laughs> there because you can't just arbitrarily assign ER values that need to be engineered right so is this considered an engineered system? Right? The original, yeah, the original oh, ER valuations, system. yeah. The original uh, was done by Walsh Comer. So I'll get you back to what Paul was saying. I think, yeah, if, they just, if they're already charging for the boat slips, then why are they charging for the public showers and the restrooms that are associated with the boats? And both, half of them have toilets on them already. Because they don't have pads? Exactly, and they're open to the public use. I mean, it mean, yeah. puts locks on them. Would that take those away from public? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's really, totally, yeah, I really think that's a totally arbitrary, I mean, ar totally arbitrary decision. No, but that's the... That's that's yeah, a, I put a lock think. on it, now it's something used with less sewer. Well, but it's the same as the basis of the other one. Yeah. So, like, we do they have, you know, the keypads on the locks, so that would be creating any going solution in that regard. Well, I think we'd have to apply the same everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, which we do. We I do. don't think having a locked hat on it Suddenly makes the boat flush more. It's true, but I mean, that the put a lock pad on pretty equal to McDonald's and the other ones I do. That's the thing. Oh, McDonald's. So, so maybe they're going to put a yeah. Okay, guys. Jesse yeah. needs to follow the ordinances. Down, then, then what's being charged for the slip itself, then it's incorporated, the waste and the water is incorporated in that slip. And because that's the, the 
the product being used by the slip is only going to be used by the slip because of the lock on the door, whereas if there is no lock on the door, the people on the slip can use it, and anybody else can use it, and that's how we're double charging. Because there's no locks on the door, it's right. public versus private. Right. But I still see a line of people oh. waiting to use it. It's not producing more slip. No, but it's just keeping people out that don't belong there, right? That aren't part of the don't pay slip fees, and it's a private club. Okay. Yeah, you got to sign up there that says private. Yeah, quite oh, yeah. clear. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no way of pulling the bill. I don't think we I can. I know that you're entering private property. Pat, go ahead. Oh, I just thought, you know, I don't think you can hang your hat on whether there's a key pad or a lock. Their intent is to keep it private, have it posted. And they do, it's posted. I guess I should. I struggle with the, the language that gives us that flexibility. I think you guys are getting sidetracked. I mean, I'm it's not talking because you're getting I'm stuck not. in stuck in the weeds on this, and this isn't actually what the customer has brought to you, when what his request is. If you guys want to discuss this, thank you, Jesse. In further detail, we can absolutely put it as an agenda item. But what the customer has brought is not what we consider a public restroom. Or not. And try to readdress that. I guess I guess I don't understand the exact request, then, Jesse. His exact question is whether you guys would adjust his ER valuations based off his water flow. <laughs> Absolutely not. Would you consider it? And are aren't we discussing that? No, you're discussing the difference between a public restroom and a private restroom. <laughs> Well, no, because you, your opinion was that if it was public, that was a different issue. That, I mean, that's how I understood how we got there. I must have missed something. Well, I think it's actually germane to the, to the subject matter here. And... Uh, I think we need to adjust our policy as it's interpreted. Uh, I think a, an owner should be able to make their restrooms private by simply posting that. I don't see where the requirement for it to add. Um, oh, my little kids got to go potty. I got to put the key in. Uh, I'd be much more comfortable with having resorts to make whatever bathrooms they want private. And move on with life. Yes, I agree. And that may not give the hands of everything they're asking for, as far as numbers, but it would, I think it make it fair. They're already paying on it for both. Well, it's, it's well, out there for discussion. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I agree. I, I, I think that, yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's yeah. what I was getting yeah. to. I think whether it's locks or a sign, it doesn't make any difference to me how it's denoted. It shouldn't. Yeah. Because he had, or that's why I said earlier, he already had the sign up there to make it private. So. Well, one of, one of the resort owners here said he has an idea that his facilities are open to the public if they're willing to pay for it. Over here. <laughs> yes. yeah. That's where the showers are, but that's not even hot water. 75 cents in Paris. <laughs> okay, well, let's get back to where are we? So okay. what, what is what is Hanson asking? He would, he would like to have us charge strictly on usage of uh, well, although you, you you wouldn't ever you probably wouldn't get into uh, uh, excess at all in the winter. <laughs> uh, you might in the summer, uh, and and if if there was no base fee, uh, they would. I don't know. I don't so, know. Yeah. if if. 
So that's why get, getting into the numbers of 0.7s and 0.5s and all that is, is outside the scope of what's being asked for right now, correct? I mean, I guess that's what Jesse would say. Well, the fact that we're brought up that it, they're paying uh, one ER for 50 volt steps. Uh, is it double dipping if we charge for each one of the restaurants? Versus, yeah. versus, wait, is it is it point zero two five or point two five per volt slip? Point zero two after okay. fifty. Okay. Yeah. Um, make sure you get that zero. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the I'm trying to figure out which sheet I'm looking at. The, and and if we so if 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 we move those from public to private, that would drop the ERs down to how much? You take off the shower and the toilets. You would take off the showers <clears throat> and the public restrooms. Right. So we had to take out that take off three point five. That would be done to his request for nine point whatever. Yes, it would. Well, the re request was for four point four six based on flow, and the and the so the uh, I believe that the it was two three uh, that would be six six uh, oh plus plus the yeah the nine point eight nine they have nine point four six so we're asking to reduce reduce it from. 9.46 down to 4.46 based on the actual flow of water consumption. And, and I, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can, um, we don't want to open that can of worms that everybody gets to calculate their usage based on flow, water flow. I think that would be a disaster around the uh, Bayview. But I think we should adjust our policy um, even if it's probably not even written policy, uh, that declare a bathroom private doesn't require logs. Yeah. I have private property myself, and I have a private driveway, and I don't have a lot, but somebody coming down, it is trespassing, and they're not allowed. So, um, yeah, I think an owner can declare their bathrooms private, and we should respect that. That, and, and that would that would go for all all the uh, resorts. Yes, they would have to. Yeah, It'd be creating I mean, an interpretation. Lot, so they're just keeping them out that way. But yeah, yeah. And if and if some of them are public, if the largest resort on the lake that has a store uh, decides to declare two of their sets of bathrooms private because they're nowhere near where the public actually interact, but the ones by the store are public, that would be a reasonable accommodation. But that he could probably declare two of those, since I've never seen a private person walk up the stairs to the one. Most people don't know it's that there. What? A big restroom sign on it. <laughs> the one down the end is easy enough to find. Just keep in mind, we have to be able to serve whatever we agree to, right. and that, that peak loading we have to be able to meet. So if you took those same numbers that you're looking at for usage and applied them for the summer months when it is actually used that uh, 4.46 would be 8.92. So you can make this so convoluted. <laughs> is it they, they pay the base, the base rate, and then they add on the base rate. Yeah. 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 But to then, second one would be to change our policy for the carrying bathrooms to this is not a motion okay. at this point. Um, to to declare a uh, private bathrooms may be private if so declared yes. without the need for a lock on. Mm -hmm. They do have a lock on the inside, by the way. Occupied. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess those things you occupied. <laughs> if somebody throws something at you when you look and they throw you out. Know, and I think that could be that could be applied across the Bayview with with little fanfare. Um, a store could not declare their not a store, but say a bar could not declare the bathroom private. Well, it's about 
Oh, the store for downtown does consider there's a private. The yeah, store's, yeah, might be it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Public yeah. Restroom. yeah. yeah. Got to and, 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 and if the resort, resort says there's no public restrooms, there's no public restrooms. But they still pay a hookup fee. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And they still pay ER. Yeah. 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 They're paying them through boat slips. Yeah. We have a motion on the floor from Paul to decline the request. I did not have a motion. That was a discussion. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought I about that. Two motions. Yeah. Just open to discussion. That's all. We need to create a policy that's reasonable and enforceable. Yeah. Yeah. And, and doesn't protect us from growth, not from growth, but protects us from our uh, over 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 over, over, over uh, extending our ERs. Protects our revenue to a certain respect, but also services our community. Uh, We're all committed on ERs. We can reach a point where we have to spend millions of dollars to create our system. So we have to be very, very careful on this. In this case, it appears they have 9.46 now. Right? Well, and we'd be billing for somewhere in that same range. Actually, if we if we did that with the public showers and the corporate restrooms, it would it would move the what you went there and visually witnessed it would bring it back to what it currently is versus where it's going to go to from the survey that was done so which is which is still twice as much as what they're asking for as far as us coming back and, and, and you know, applying it to this one it would be three single family residences a guest house built the bathrooms were removed um, there would be a clubhouse business yeah. with some bathrooms. Um, and if we have a policy on how many bathrooms a house can have, I don't know. No, I don't really know. Hmm. Um, is there one for businesses hmm. policy? So they'd just be one, so they'd be, mm -hmm. you know, we're up to, that's, that's one. And then the boat slips at, at the 3.86 for the under 93 of them. Does that include the boats? No, that's a private dock over on. We keep your private boats. That's not part of the marina. Wow, that's just a private dock. Legal. We don't charge anything for boat slips in front of people's houses, do you? No. No. Okay. No. No. Just like that. Hey, that's not Just marina boats. Well, <laughs> you know, that, and, and, and part of this would be we'd have to consult our attorneys on this. If we made a change like that, because they they are the ones that set up the policy. So I, I, I well, the policy change would strictly be that a, the marina owner gets to say it's private or not, not a key matter. The key pad seems totally arbitrary. I, mean, I doubt if it's actually in the written policy. Right. So, there. Okay. So, so we can right. It's just arbitrary. So. The marina says it's a private bathroom, and that one's clearly marked private. Yeah, yeah. In numerous places, uh, that's private. Consideration yeah. and yeah. Yeah. evaluate the, everything we need to evaluate. To get more to it, like you say, and what we're seeing on the table right now. So, how it can downstream affect a lot of things, too. Make a motion to leave as is. Better Marina's request be put under advisement. Under advisement, advisement. no changes to be made until after decision. And put it on the board meeting. So, the board for next. Yeah. yeah. What advisement Agenda. am I seeking exactly? <laughs> What advice what, am I seeking? What would be involved? How how would we be legally involved if we change the policy for the arena 
without or better define the current ordinances so we all understand we're all on the same table with it. Yeah. Or, but, yeah. Which that does take any ordinance change does take a I'm review of, with change. the community. See, see what it actually says yeah. right now. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure not in favor of kicking this down the road. I no, am not we, either. We, we need <laughs> to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, I didn't want to interrupt, but except to say that we appreciate, I appreciate um, being able to be part of this dialogue with you guys tonight. This useful information. Um, we're speaking on our behalf. We would like to kind of uh, table this and come back to you with in and after further consideration of what what you folks are saying here today which i think would would uh maybe shed some light i i think your comments are spot on and uh, i think we have a response but it's going to take us take a minute